Good morning dear students. Welcome all of you to this certificate course entitled Lifestyle Diseases and Their Management being conducted by the Department of Biochemistry. I am Dr. Vinod, the coordinator of this course and today I will give a brief outline on the course structure of this particular certificate course. There will be 30 hour lecture for this course, one assignment and some class tests will be there and one final exam which will be of objective in nature. The objective of this course is to create awareness among students and their family about the various diseases arising from the day-to-day -day activities of people which could be prevented or managed by controlling the lifestyle. The course also covers the general aspects of diagnosis, methods, prevention and pharmaceutical interventions. There will be six module for this course and module one will be dealing with lifestyle affecting the health of our heart the pumping organ in our body so let's begin today's class with a brief introduction the disease which we often encounter in our life due to the way which we live are termed as lifestyle diseases very often while communicable diseases like malaria cholera etc can be managed with proper treatment lifestyle diseases can only be prevented by following a proper healthy and active lifestyle this creates a global burden with people often at their prime age die prematurely from the common lifestyle diseases like heart attack diabetes high blood pressure etc nowadays these diseases are more fatal than other infectious or hereditary diseases these diseases don't come suddenly. Often prolonged exposure to various modifiable risk factors brings up these issues. Those modifiable risk factors, as you all know, are smoking, alcohol consumption, unhealthy diet including junk food and bakery items and moreover physical inactivity. These are modifiable because if we decide strongly that we are not going to use these unhealthy things in our life, we can definitely avoid many of these diseases and prolong our precious life. The important diseases which Indians often fall into are the heart diseases, stroke, diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and some type of cancers. So let's start with the heart diseases. We often hear cardiovascular diseases, heart disease, which we often use interchangeably and think they are the same. But there is a slight difference between these cardiovascular diseases and heart diseases. Cardiovascular disease is a general term for all type of diseases that affect our heart and associated blood vessels. It can be a disease of the coronary artery termed coronary heart disease. Coronary artery is a major artery that supplies blood to the heart muscle. Like all other tissues in our body, the heart muscle also needs oxygen-rich blood to function. Also, oxygen-depleted blood has to be carried away from these tissues. It can also be a disease of the blood vessel supplying the brain termed as cerebrovascular disease. Then there is a there is peripheral artery disease which affect blood vessels going to the arms and legs. Rheumatic heart disease can damage heart muscle and valve due to a bacteria. Congenital heart diseases are birth defects affecting heart. And finally, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism where blood clots move to the heart and lungs and can affect these organs. So, coming to heart disease. Heart disease is a type of cardiovascular disease that affects structure and function of the heart. Most common heart disease is coronary artery disease, CAD or coronary heart disease or CHD, which we mentioned earlier. There are other types which affect the heart including heart arrhythmias, heart failure, etc. 